<laughs> Talk to me, baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, what's going on, baby? Talk to me, baby. How you been, man? Oh, uh, we're back. We're back. Love it. Um, I've been blessed. Highly favored. Can't complain. Man, that's what's up, man. You know, uh, last interview did good. The numbers went viral. Keefy D take. <sighs> oh yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I guess you're you're helping me save some lives, huh? I, I, yeah, I think so, I, man. What I asked for. <laughs> How have you been since our last interview? Blessed and highly favored. Uh, out of trouble. Um, a lot of things, man, have been uh, been uh, awakening. So slowly, I just uh, I just been being humble about everything that comes across the table. Anything new going on with you? Any shows? Any anything? Any updates on anything? <sighs> or anything you could talk about? Yeah, I better. <laughs> um, so the reason why I say I better was because, all right. So I walked into the Zeus building and it was amazing the meeting that took place. Okay, so I talked to LJ and I promised him that I would not have this conversation with anybody and uh I feel like it's like essential that I let certain people know that are waiting, that have been waiting for this for a while. Uh, I was offered the Orlando Brown show. Oh! Over at Zeus Network. Congratulations. Uh, I know you've been wanting to do that for a while. Yes, sir. Man, what's up, bro? <laughs> man. Thank you, bro. Congrats, bro. I know you've been, I know you've been working on that. Man. Yes, Since sir. Since our first interview, I think we talked about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I came in here with the script all crying and stuff. Man. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, they offered the Orlando Brown show. And um, I'm very, very happy to oblige. Bro, so. that's dope, man. I'm happy for you, man. Thank you, sir. That's dope, man. I just can't wait to see it. Thank you, sir. Man, oh, man. Orlando Brown, uh-oh. Orlando Brown was on the show. Uh-oh, look. Oh, <laughs> well, that's dope, man. Thank you. Well, I thought we would, you know, get right into the biggest thing going on right now, man. And that is Cat Williams uh, shook the internet, man. Uh, he did this interview with Shannon Sharp, and uh, he said a lot of stuff, man. You know, what was your initial reaction to the interview? Like I told one of my best friends that brought me over here, uh, Millie, uh, my best friend and producer, it's like, what was done to Cat to make him do that? There's a lot of people that have no respect for the game of comedy. And there's a lot of people that, now, what, before I go deeper, I will say that I don't, I, I, it's none of my business, the personal relationships and all the stuff that I was talked about. So I'm not going to talk about that. But I will talk about what I've experienced. And what I've experienced is sitting in front of Cat Williams at his own house, $3 million mansion in Malibu. And this man told Tory Hart exactly what Kevin Hart did in order to be where he's at. Now, I don't know if it was Kevin that pissed him off. I don't know who it was that pissed him off. But I do understand that uh, the comedy world is nothing to play with. And since, you know, Richard Pryor left us, God rest his soul, it's more like, you know, everybody's trying to be Richard Pryor, you know, and, and I can't put myself in position to not understand why some people just don't have the, the kind of respect for Cat that they should have. Um, I will also say that a lot of people know that he knows that he's helped them in a major way. Huge ways. Silently. For no recognition or none of that. It's just being, you know, who he is as a person. And, and uh, when I sat in front of him with Tory Hart that night, uh, when, Rank when Reno Rankin was still alive, it was more like, Kevin been pissing off a lot of people, you know, comedically. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think that 
instead of trying to bash somebody that knows what they're talking about and bash somebody that has respect in the comedy, the, the, the comedy world, I think that they need to look deeper into why is he letting this information go? Why is this information just now being released? Why, I mean, come on, he's, why does his chain look bigger than any rappers that I've ever seen rap? Why, out of all the comedians, does he still have a $3 million mansion in Malibu? Why, out of every single comedian, does he still get, get, get picked on, it, but, but still looks like he's getting a check for nothing just to sit on his couch and everybody else look like, you know, they're has-beens. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, I did agree with a couple of things that was said by Ari Spears. I understand, you know, we do love drama as a nation, as a population of people, the human race, whatever the case may be, blase, blase, yes, yes, yes. But my main thing is, why are you saying this and then at the end of your rant, you sound like you're kind of jealous and you're kind of mad. You sound like you got some things going on that you don't want people to know about. It's skeletons in your closet. Skeletons in Cedric's closet. It's skeletons in Jamie's closet. Skeletons. skeletons in everybody's closet that Cat knows about. Who pissed him off? That's none of, and don't just think. That's my question to you. Who pissed him off? Who do you think pissed him off? Well, it, it would seem as if a lot of people pissed him off. No, it was only one person, and they have a clan of people behind them. Hmm. Yeah. It was Kevin. So at the end of the day, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. And, 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 and it's like, you know, Kevin doesn't wanna be a dinosaur. He's really a velociraptor. And, and, and you know, some people are actually T-Rexes. And we have a system to break in this universe. Now, if I keep going with this posting that everyone's privy to, it's gonna unlock certain systems in the universe that prove that dinosaurs are actually not extinct. That's what Cat knows. He knows the inner workings of how people turned into huge comedians. And I guess, you he know. He says Kevin, Kevin is an industry plant. No, nah, man, I mean, you know, um, Kevin is a dinosaur. And I, I, <laughs> and, I, and I can't, you know, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. You know, he's Frankie Lyman and you know, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, why do birds sing so gay? You know, that. Okay. <laughs> well, I think some of the biggest uh, <laughs> news from this interview was when he said he turned down fifty million four times no, he didn't. to protect his integrity no, he didn't. and his virgin hole. No, he didn't. He did that. He did that to say that Kevin Hart took fifty million to unvirgin his hole. Can you explain a little bit? No, I just told you what happened with that. So, so you don't believe Cat when he says that he turned down fifty million for? No, times. I believe that was a, a a punch at what he did, what Kevin Hart did for that movie Get Hard. He showed y'all what he did. He sucked <laughs> Will Ferrell's <laughs> to get hard. Oh. Now he's high. Now he's acting all hard. <laughs> Every picture he just. Short, oh, he wasn't ready, <laughs> all that. It's the same thing, man. You know, it, I don't put myself in any kind of position to think that somebody is good when they have four people writing their jokes. Kevin Hart has a team of people that write his jokes. Kevin Hart writes some jokes, yes, but that's not the real Kevin that you, I come here telling you all the time who's the realist and who's not. Kevin, I told you when I first came here, bro, Kevin Hart is not that tall. Kevin Hart is not that tall. 50 Tyson is the real Kevin Hart. So if we're going to make sense of make sense of some 50 Tyson is the real Kevin Hart. So all that that Kevin got right now acting like Kevin is Kevin all that all that the house is all that that man was raped robbed 
and belittled. They are raping and pillaging every single thing on this earth. That's not Kevin Hart. The is what you call him, right? Yeah, that's the real Kevin Hart. So before somebody puts somebody in position to call them a call them crazy, call them stupid and dismiss them. They need to understand what they look at before they open their mother mouth. I know 50 Tyson personally. I know the Beatles personally. I just left the studio. I can't put myself in anybody's position for them. I can put myself in my own position, but I'm not gonna put myself in my own position to act like these are not the people that I say they are. A facelift don't change. And that's what some people gotta understand about this life. 50 Tyson didn't deserve that. Deion Sanders didn't deserve that. Sammy Davis Jr. didn't deserve his legs to get taken. Diddy don't deserve hat. If you mother really knew about what Illuminati is. It's not about Illuminati, bro. Illuminati is the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ <laughs> that still live today. That's Illuminati. The devil always want to take something and make it his. Illuminati is mine. The 12 disciples of Christ that still live to this day, that act as, as angels, that, that help people, that do the right thing righteously, that test people when they ask God for certain things. And then they get, they get tested so much that they don't, even wanna, they don't even want the gift no more. This is what I'm saying, bro. You can't put people in position to answer questions that actually know who these people are. 50 Tyson was, was, was called all kinds of names and they acted like he was nobody. Lo and behold, do you know who that man is that you call him mother? He got a whole family. He got kids. He got, that's Kevin Hart. And I refuse to let y'all tear him down. Yeah, that all Cat is doing is the same thing his grandson is trying to do. Put everything into position to where everybody understands that these aliens ain't the people that you think they are. They are raping, robbing, and pillaging everything that has God in it. <laughs> Everything that has God in it. Everything else. Why does not America look like Dubai and Germany? And why doesn't America look like Russia and Persia? And where the fuck is the money going? Every single mayor needs to figure out what the fuck they want to do before I. There should be grapes, turnips vegetables, everything on the streets every day for the homeless to eat. You're making us pay for water, you son of a You're making us pay for grapes, apples, things that God gave us for free. Ha! You will burn in hell when I'm through with you. You will not be allowed in my father's house at all. At all. We deserve free everything. At least if you're not gonna give us reparations by money, give us reparations in fruit. You owe us over $1.5 million. These subsidy checks are So we are the hoes and the, the government is our pimp. So since we're not getting mad about them taking that percentage, okay, for taking care of the American people, okay, let's take that billion dollars and give them $2,500 and they should be happy with that because we take care of them. If you took care of us, we'd have free carrots. This ain't no mother game. Y'all owe us money. That's why you killed me as Martin Luther King, because I was coming to get our check. And what I said in my life when I was when I was on 
pulpit. That's what I said. I said, I'm coming to get our check. And that was it. I got shot on the balcony. That's what happened. Because I was trying, again, trying to get this check for these people. Yeah. Hey, Martin Luther King, everybody is going to have $3 million. And some land. Whether you're black, white, Indian, Hispanic, gray, or tan. I don't give a f man. That's what we were trying to do, you know, Kennedy and I, anyway. So it puts me in a position to make sure that people, you know, want to go to hell when they make these kind of decisions. You know, like they're making. That's why Cat Williams is doing what he's doing. How do you feel about him saying that Martin tried to put him in his first dress? I can't say that Martin tried to put him in his first dress, and he can't say that either. He's not in a position to tell a lie. He's in a position to tell the truth. The man that's talking is Martin Lawrence. <laughs> They're listening to Martin Lawrence do, with do, Cat do Williams' feel, face on. <laughs> you feel like Hollywood has, has got like a thing where they're trying to put black men in dresses. No, they're forcing people to not be able to be themselves. But I'm recognizing all of them, and that's a f lie. That wasn't Cat Williams, that was Martin Lawrence. So that was Martin Lawrence that really did the interview. It's called a facelift, baby. So, we, and, we've and, been doing facelifts since World War One. And Martin Lawrence accused himself or, or of putting himself in a dress basically he 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 basically vindicated himself of something that he's he's been it bothered him that he put on a dress on what about the stealing jokes thing um i'm not in that world so out of respect for for joke telling i'm just not in that world and i can't do that what about him saying that him and ludicrous were invited to a illuminati thing and that's how ludicrous got the fast illuminati is my show. family stop negatively using my family's name in vain you know that is you're devalue you're 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 devaluing the illuminati and it angers me because i created it you created the illuminati if i'm jesus i would think i did okay yeah well tell us about it a little bit then well not my place too. You guys know exactly. I mean, well, I'll give you this. It's like Diddy, you know Diddy. Diddy, my, yeah. one of my best friends. Okay. Right. Okay. So, when you want to be a kappa, and you get hazed, did you want to be a kappa? You wanted to be a kappa, right? Did I want to be a kappa. No, I'm just saying, to the person that wanted to be a kappa. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to be a kappa. You want to be alpha. Whatever the fuck it is. Okay. We're gonna haze you. And haze you and haze you until you are a f kappa. That's what happened. People sold their souls to Diddy. <laughs> and then they're mad now because the hazing process was a little bit rougher than they thought. You can't the king. Why do you think I love Diddy so much? You're not gonna dethrone this man because he know how to get you there. By way of hazing you, I, they call it, I call it haze. <laughs> and we're gonna still do this. We're, we're gonna still do this. It, it, it's not gonna stop. Take that, take that, take that. It's still gonna happen. The got three million and we're still waking up in the morning, drinking cognac, screaming, bad boy, bad boy. <laughs> And it won't stop. And it can't stop. <laughs> and it's not going to stop. You thought just because you got three million, you changed them? Take care of what you need to take care of. You glad that you got away with three million. Be happy. No, don't you stop me. Be happy you got away with three million. I don't give a f what you told the cameras. You wanted to be Illuminati. You wanted the big cars. and You wanted to get... You wanted to get pimped for it. So. Don't blame him for giving you what you asked for. Because he's still going to be Diddy at the end of the day. It's called hazing. Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with your life and trying to take down that you have no kind of mind or even no kind of heart to build. Revolt, that's bad boy. Shut, shut your ass up and stop trying to fuck up our money. 
You got $3 million. Shut the f up. You know what this is. You got down 10 toes. Shut the f up. One thing he said about Diddy was that Diddy wants to party, but you got to tell him no. Oh, yeah. Well, you do got to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell him no. You got to tell Diddy no. Everybody knows you got to tell him no because if you don't tell him no, he's going to put you in a situation where you're going to have to say yes or no again. So just say no. Just say no. <laughs> just, just say no because you know the consequences. That's what I'm saying. She said yes. That's what I mean. She knew the consequences. She said yes. And the next thing you know, she covered up in the mother blanket and he said come on baby it's 100 degrees outside and, and you got a mother blanket on let's go outside and run on the beach <laughs> i was like this is horrible yeah don't you got to be careful what you sell yourself for bro or what you think you're selling yourself for you know what i mean like you wanted to get ahead ain't nobody don't nobody wants you to get ahead you know what i mean we're gonna make it hard for you you know what i'm saying like they made it hard for me in my hazing ways i'm not they complaining and saying people did this and did that. They did it, but do I really want to see them in jail? No, I was being hazed. I'm being hazed. I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm all right. Funny like, games with my family. Shit. It is what it is. You feel like Cassie was just being hazed? I feel like she knew she was going to be hazed before it happened. Don't put yourself in a position to where you want to, you want cars and this and that. She got three million dollars, didn't she? She wanted something. Thirty. She wanted something. I keep trying to give the three. Well, she sued. She sued for thirty, and they settled for we don't know how much. All right, yeah, well. He immediately settled the next day. Yeah, bro, because that nobody got time for that. You knew what it was. Now, if it was a big deal, they would have did a case, the whole trial, like OJ. It's like, you knew you got hazed. <laughs> like, take your money, man. You you trying to ruin our now. <laughs> like, dude, you're like, you'll never be. No, man, that's not cool, man. You know, you, you can't. You got, you got dirty money. You got Faith Evans, Biggie Smalls. You got so much stuff coming from that umbrella, man. You know, and some people be really, you know. You know, Cassie is really Andre Harrell. And Andre Harrell has been hating on Diddy for a long time. Andre Harrell kicked him off of the record label. Oh, so now it's making sense? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, f <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So it's just like, you know, put yourself in position. If you want to be recognized, be recognized and take that full recognition for being the man and the woman that you are. Don't play like you want when you get caught. Oh, I'm a mother. I know. You, we might get canceled for this one. Oh no, no, you. I'm still Jesus. You'll be all right. <laughs> You'll be okay. You got Farrakhan behind you and Khadija's right here. <laughs> You'll be okay. It, the hazing probably went a little extreme, is what you're saying. Yes. But she wanted to be Beyonce. <laughs> and you're still not Beyonce. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, man. Some people just don't understand what it is they put themselves into. You know, um, we are a terror. We are real. <laughs> we are very real. And, and, what, and what people don't understand is when you say yes, then... A couple of my brothers that are allowed to do what they do, they probably do it very good. And you're not going to like that. And then all of a sudden, because you said, yeah, you're stuck there until it's over, you know. And then when you get all that money and shit on the other side, you don't even want it no more. Do you think Diddy will be canceled? <laughs> Diddy can never be canceled. Never. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I mean, I, I think that, you know, um, between um, Lemmy and LJ talking to Diddy about the Orlando Brown show and then them talking about it 
they wanted to do it at Revolt first, and then, then all, like, there's no way, there's no way he could be canceled. He's putting in too much work. You know, he didn't, he, he understood I didn't want to be hazed. <laughs> he understood a lot of people didn't want to be hazed. Some people make that choice, bro. That's all I'm saying. Did you ever get invited to the Diddy party? Mm, one Diddy party, uh -oh. but I didn't go. I didn't was, go? Nah, I, I didn't go. I was invited by Justin. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, cause so I was cool, bro. Like I, the Diddy parties that I go to was well, well, the Diddy parties that I was allowed to go to was the the Justin thing, and it was like I didn't I didn't want to go. I was with all my bros, and, and it was fun. But I did hear about it though. I heard somebody was on a on a uh, a couch, and he was jumping on the couch, and, and Diddy walked in and was like, "Yo, who the f is this? Get this guy out of here!" He disappeared and he was screaming outside like, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please let me back. <laughs> please let me back in, I won't get on the couch. That's what I, I, you know. Well, 50 Cent's been going off on Diddy. Yeah, well, he has. He, he wants to make a movie called Surviving P. Diddy. Did he do it or not? Oh, it's kind of hard for... Um, 50 Cent to do that when he's Halle Berry. And... <laughs> you mean Halle Berry talking about Diddy? Like, yeah, I mean, that's how he became 50 Cent was Diddy as Halle Berry. <laughs> so how can you try to act like you, you know, I don't give a fuck about none of these as far as Hurt, harming me or none of that, you know, my dad's Lucifer, my mom's Satan, I don't care. All I can tell you is at the end of the day, Holly Berry can't be saying too much about Kerry Washington, okay? It's just like, you can't put that in, you can't, no, Holly Berry is not doing what Kerry Washington is doing right now. So 50 Cent can't talk about Diddy at all, okay? Diddy's Kerry Washington, Kerry Washington is Diddy, and Holly Berry is 50 Cent, and 50 Cent is Holly Berry, and and in and, and, and their lives and in their men world lives and, you know, king world lives type of deal. It's like you have to understand people just like to pick at people that got more money than them. Now, if you see Diddy and you look at 50 Cent's money together based off of the bad boy branch in Biggie alone, Diddy's Richard. 50 Cent your down and keep doing power. And try to get that, that bag up a little bit more. Well, they're saying this is because Diddy was seen hooking up with 50 Cent's baby's mom. 50 Cent is his baby mama. Okay. There we go. I always want to troll somebody, bro. Come at me with it. <laughs> like, like, seriously. Oh, you don't want to with Orlando. You don't want to play with Jesus, do you? <laughs> you want to play with Jesus. <laughs> oh, let's not play with Jesus. You don't want to play with me, boy playing games, but, you know, that's what they do, man. Play games. Dr. Umar Johnson recently went viral. Who is that? You don't know who Dr. Umar Johnson is? No. Is that... It, it sounds like Conrad Murray to me. <laughs> sounds like Conrad Murray. <laughs> what? <laughs> sounds like Conrad Murray. Well, he made a controversial statement saying that Eminem could not be a goat in hip-hop because he is white. Eminem is not a goat, he's a great. There's a difference. A goat is an actual animal. A goat is killed in sacrifice. A goat is something not to be. A, a great is something to be. Greatest of all time is what a goat is. Just leave it alone at great. Goat? Ain't nobody trying to be no mother goat. Bad. <laughs> I didn't know being a goat was something to be a bad. I want to be a goat. I'm going to turn myself into a goat. It's simple with vaginas. You know what a vagina is? Cam Capone. A vagina is a vagina with an R. It doesn't make the vagina better or better. It's one thing. A vagina. The vagina is more royal than the vagina. It's just, it just has the R at the, the, the R makes it royal. Vagina. Say it. Say vagina. 
Vagina. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking. Vagina. Give me some of that vagina. Okay, so back to the Eminem thing, man. <laughs> What do you think about that, man? Is he is he right? Is he wrong? You know, how do you feel? Eminem about that? is not wrong, and Eminem is always right. Okay. <laughs> He's the king, bro. I'm not gonna. I did. I've seen you post about Eminem before. That's why I'm asking you, bro. Eminem I've, heard, is... I've heard you give a lot, a lot bro, of really I... good things about say a lot. Bro, of good I just I just recorded a song with the. I just went to the Beatles. Uh, to the studio with the Beatles, bro, and I I honestly was in the studio with the Beatles and I <laughs> Bro, I said, uh, they want my autograph. I make your daughter laugh. I stop through, sign my name, sign my name on the starter cap. It's like, you know, I I, I love Eminem. You know what I mean? Everybody know I love Eminem. He literally taught me how to rap, you know. Uh uh, I just my thing about Eminem is they just need to respect him. I always say that. They need to have more respect. You know what I'm saying? Um, they just need to have more respect. You feel respect. like Eminem don't get the respect he deserves? I feel like they play with him. Mm. I feel like he got the respect already from the world, but the real, but the, but the real people that's on the inside and the, the mu some musical people, Method Man, a the couple people, they just f with him just to f with him. Just to be disrespectful. Just to make him feel like he has to fight for that he ain't got to fight for. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're sensitive on the inside about who you are because of what you've been through, you're going to... Some people know how to press them buttons. There's some people out there, you call them weak. You know what I'm saying? They're going to cry this, that. Some people, you call them ugly. They're going to tear up. The, some, some situations and some scenarios, bro, like, some people actually know deeper than what Eminem told us. And they use that against them, man. They use that kind of stuff against people. You know what I mean? And and I'm not saying he's broken from it. I'm just saying he's the king, bro. And 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 you know, these kind of questions only bring um dirt to the kingdom grounds. It's like, why are we trying to dethrone Eminem all the time? It's like we're gonna keep asking. Questions about a person that intellectually killed everybody verbally on wax? Like, no, nah, we're not going to keep doing that. We're not going to keep on trying to take a man's title uh, that's already there. Can't do that. It's disrespectful. He's one of my favorite rappers. I'm like, what the? Well, you got a song with Crip Mac. Yeah, I did. And I was like, I was like, I'm not doing this because this is on parole. And I love him, but I'm not trying to perpetuate more of the same. I'm an actor, I'm not a gangbanger. Get off parole, we can do a song. He got arrested. Yeah, sure did. Which is why I said, get up, bro. We can do a song. No disrespect, but people don't want to own up to their... I told Hitler to his face. I said, hey, you know, uh, you're not going to blow up my world because you <laughs> don't want to own up to the consequences of your actions. You're going to blow my world up, put me in jail, kill me, do this, do that. You're going to blow my world up, the world that was given to Jesus. And blow this world up that my father gave me, right? And I'm humble about being it. I'm crawling up slowly. Now that I've awakened my eyes and I realize, damn, I'm really Simba. I could be turned into an animal. I could be killed. You know, this is, this is deep. And people don't realize it. And it's like, oh, this is really the circle of life. You know, that's where I'm at with a lot of... Um, of raindrops. You know, these raindrops, they get heavy, baby. They get really heavy. Based off of the fact that, you know, um, 
I'm not a predominantly black person. I'm half white. My mother was, you know, it's a lot of things that people don't understand about Jesus, you know, about how I was kidnapped along with my mother and my father in a tabernacle, stolen by the king of Persia, <laughs> you know, and the other two kings, you know, it's just, it's a lot of things that go on with why people act how they act in. Eminem and all these names you hear, but kings are kings in their own birthrights and kings are, are kings in their own um, way. But to have, you know, uh, people like Eminem, people like uh, Jay-Z, you know, um, you know, uh, I have a problem with RuPaul parading around as Jay-Z. Know what the, the facelift is. You let that man make that much money and that wasn't even the real Jay-Z? I'm not mad at Farrakhan. I'm not mad at Farrakhan. But tell people that you're RuPaul. Stop misleading people and standing on the pulpit like you're this big leader when you know what you're really doing out here. Keep it 1,000, bro. So Jay-Z's not being real with people. Nah, man. But, uh, but, is, but is cool. But is cool. That's, but is all right. Who's butter? Solange. <laughs> you know, Solange's Jay-Z. You know, so you got to realize some people just don't look at things until you really look at things. And you be like, Damn, but I'm only looking at what I'm allowed to see because that's what they're showing us, bro. I'm not awesome. I'm not great. I'm Jesus though, but I ain't, <laughs> but I ain't great. I ain't no, no this, I don't, that don't make me better. I'm a person just like Satan is Satan, he's here. Just like Lucifer's Lucifer, he's here. Everybody's here. That's why I'm able to say my name. You know, I'm here too, just like they're here. You know, but at the same time, it's just you got to make sense of this, shit, bro. And I've been making sense of it, man. People are really disrespectful. People are just really disrespectful, man. And I, I just, to end on Eminem, bro, I just feel like they just need to leave him alone. Mm. Okay. All that. you brought up Eminem and all that shit came out. Here's it. <laughs> God damn. Well, uh, Shaq was spotted on a date with Brittany Renner. Okay. Uh, you mean uh, Shaq is Tony like... Muhammad, Shaquille O'Neal, Tony Muhammad with, with uh, Khadija? That was wrong. <laughs> that was wrong. You know, only because Farrakhan is, is um, a very kind person. And they put him into certain positions to where, like, yo, man, let's let, let's let, you know, let's let you play with certain things and do certain things. And, and, and uh, they've allowed him to do a lot. But at the same time, he still is a respected and a, you know, um, I would say well-managed man. He has a lot of people behind him that groom him, you know, and protect him. But just like I know the real Kanye, just like I know the real Diddy, you know, that whole situation with Lucifer in the body of Farrakhan, I just can't play with. You know. Who's the real Kanye? Hmm. Kadeem Hardison? <laughs> and what would you what would you say he's like? Like Kanye. Kadeem, what, what, Kadeem Hardis. Look at his teeth, bro. What, look are they, what are they like when they're not on camera? You got to look at shit. L look at Dwayne on. <laughs> I saw, you know, is is some people, man, you know, their spirits are in how they act, you know, um, in these shows, you know, different world and all that stuff. Watch a different world and you'll know how Kanye is. You know, watch a different world. That's how that's how he is as a person.
Dwayne Wayne. <laughs> Dwayne Wayne is Kanye. You know, you gotta, that's how it is, man. You gotta watch people, man. Like Pac said, you gotta watch people. Watch people. If you love them, you'll remember them and you'll see them. Cardi B <laughs> has been saying she's gonna divorce Offset. And this is over Blueface sending text messages between Offset and Krishan. And allegedly they hooked up. And uh, so Cardi B isn't happy about this. And uh, she's, she says she's going to divorce him. You mean Mace? <laughs> Don't get mad at me. <laughs> you mean Mace? Yeah, that's cool. What, what's your reaction to that? To Cardi B being Mace? To, to her leaving Offset. Offset didn't want to... Mace no more. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. <laughs> how, how do you feel about Blueface sending Cardi B snapshots of their text messages? Kind of. You mean Raven? Raven in. Oh, okay. Well, I feel like. Raven is okay as Blueface. I think that's where she need to stay so she don't have to go back to that. So Raven, it's the future I can see. So mysterious to me, yeah. Yep, that's she. Blue Bay. Oh, that's where she's been. <laughs> uh, he's like, damn, I tried. Yeah, no, Raven's Blueface now. That's, that's a wrap. Won't get that show back. <laughs> Out of the park. <laughs> I seen a headline that Raven makes people sign NDAs to be in a relationship with her now. Non disclosure agreement is what that is, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord. Oh, well. Uh, I mean, well, some people don't deserve to be. Um, that close to people and she's probably been hurt enough to know that she don't want to be in a position to where she can be hurt again and she up on marrying Orlando Brown and I'm very happy with my wife and my life now and she knew she could have had a bump man you know she wouldn't have to be stuck with Disney and all that for the rest of her life and now she had to turn into blue face and that's not working because her doesn't want to be her because her my son Frankie, and I can't put myself in position to lose my son to him like that. Do you think it's fair to ask people to be in an NDA during the relationship? Look, man, Raven has a d now. That's it. Raven can stick her d in anybody she chooses. If I was Cat Williams and I told you that Raven had a I would tell you that Cat would have this in her mouth because it would be Cat Williams. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, hey, leave it alone. The got a now. You have to finesse the d in there. You can't be doing like that. Uh, I, was, I just wish Raven would have kept a d we wouldn't have to be going through this. <laughs> <laughs> right. She didn't have to do all the extra. Oh, God. I mean, I knew something was coming after the three breast reductions, but I still love her, even though she blue face. Well, last time we talked, you went viral for your take on the Keefe D getting arrested for Tupac's murder. I said he can't be Situation. arrested. They let him go, didn't they? No, he's in jail. He's finding the case. No, he's not. Yeah, no, Keefe D's arrested. He's finding the case. No, he's not. He's right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. No, I'm just, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, you know, I just feel like, you know, um, when I seen that they, I, I did see that they said uh, he will be walking free or something like that from the case. 
I did see that. And and um I was happy for him. You're happy for him. I'm happy for him. Well, why why are you happy for him? I'm happy for him because you know what? There's a lot of murderers, there's a lot of rapists, there's a lot of going on, man, you know? And are you gonna be called that for the rest of your life? I think he will definitely No, be no, that no, no, no. I'm talking about life. for everybody. Every but no, 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 no. Somebody, you're probably gonna be no, called bro. A murderer but for I, the rest I'm of saying, life. bro, check me out. Check me out. Tupac killed and raped. You understand what I'm saying to you? So what I'm saying is, everybody has done something, bro. Everybody's done something. I am not going to sit here and be like, yeah, man, eternal damnation. Should people have troubles and get in trouble? Yeah, bro, but I'm not trying to keep nobody in, in hell for the rest of eternity, bro. People should feel the fire for however long they need to feel the fire, bro. And that's that. You know what I mean? Like, that's that, bro. You can't keep... These are great people, man. You know, like Will Smith. He's a known pimp. Sugar free. <laughs> He's a known pimp. Sugar free. Will Smith, right? So how the f can you tell me that you don't love Will Smith? You want him to go to jail? You want his career to be taken? You want all this other shit just because he pimping? Yeah, like, like it's, it's, you know, there should be rules. People, people make mistakes, but they need to go through, they need to go through strong discipline, you know, to, 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 to get it, to get that shit out their system. And once they get to that discipline and once they get to that realization and we know it for real, set them free, man. You know, some people just need to be brainwashed in the right way, not the wrong way, man. You know, I just met a man right now that was over there at the Chili's and talking about how he feel comfortable with selling dope in order to feed his family. And I'm like, yo, man, iron sharpens iron, still sharp, but still sharp and still. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to be doing that, shit, bro. You don't need to be doing that, shit, bro. It's, it's other ways, it's other connections, it's other ways to... To put yourself out there. I'm talking about an all drug. It's other ways, bro. I know you've been going through. Get out of your comfort zone. I got, I stopped smoking weed. That was so comfortable, bro. Get out of your comfort zone. I left Texas. I'm out here. Come on, man. Like, get out of your comfort zone. It's 2024. We're not playing no games no more with this, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just different now. People should be held accountable, man. But I, But only to a certain extent. How do you feel about Jada Pickett Smith's, I want to say, like, obsession with Tupac, where she's always, she, thinks she even called him uh, her soulmate, you know, she's married to Will, they had the all You can't say thing. that she has an obsession with that person, you know, that person was there with her. They have a relationship, they have memories, anybody, you know, even though that, even though death is not real, leaving is. Leaving is, you know, people act like death is real and oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> you'll see them again. You, you, but if you love them for real, for real, they'll notice you and you won't notice them or you'll notice each other. It's called heaven. I'm in heaven right now. That's how I can notice people. That you don't, my shirt says what? I see ghosts. Lucky me. <laughs> because I'm in heaven. You know, I'm here. I'm in heaven. I appreciate every single thing that's around me. This is heaven to me. The second that I'm taken out, I'm in hell. The second we are born, we're in heaven. Heaven is a place on earth. Ah, ah. <laughs> Making sense. You know, it's just, you know, but we don't appreciate it. Everybody thinking that the, the heavens is up there and this is not it. Yeah, I mean, to a certain extent, yeah, but heaven is a place on earth. Heaven is what you make it. A lot of people feel like she disrespects Will Smith by her constant praise of Tupac. Well, she disrespected herself with her constant walking outside without a wig on. I feel like some things just need to stop. You know, I, you know... Everybody else on, you know, these grounds and those grounds and all the way around, they have baby hair and, you know, there is things that could be done, you know, you know, where the f are all the wigs when it comes down to Jada's head? 
And what the does Will Smith grab when he lays down in bed? I'm just saying some real man. You know, are you gripping when she's Gabble, squabble, squabble, give me the mmm, boom, bop, a shoop, dap, I mmm, bop, do ya, mmm, bop, doop, dap, I do. Yeah, yeah, I had to hit him with that. It's famous. But all I'm saying is at the end of the day, where's the hair? Down there, player? <laughs> Ain't no hair. Will is, Will is very mad. Will, I know you. Do you think? Do you smack her ass or her head when you? <laughs> Cam Capone is Will Smith. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> bang 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 I heard you doing I Am Legend, I Am Legend 4, Cam. <laughs> you doing I Am Legend 4. Well, uh, I'm working on it. All right, cool. You know, uh, it's it's in production. What's so, up? you know, uh, I'm looking for a stunt double. Well, I heard you got uh, Michael B. Jordan. Jordan. my stunt double. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we are identical. You know, so people get us mixed up all the time. Yeah, well, you know, it, it kind of works out as long as you got somebody. I mean, next time, come get me, though, Will, because this is that they are letting us work together. You know, I got I to gotta work with you. I got to work with Jamie again. I got to work with Martin. I got to work with everybody. We working on it. They, they, they're telling me you're canceled. The, what the? <laughs> f <laughs> no. They're you know what? I can't work with you. Know you, what, no you know what's canceled? Baddies. That's. <laughs> Baddies is canceled. God damn. Do you not realize how many of our leaders are on that show as women? You got Hitler, Gaddafi, <laughs> Saddam Hussein, everybody running around with vaginas. Everybody. You know? And Gaddafi has the big the biggest vagina of them all. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah, that baddies is, is crazy, man. You know, I love my Zeus family, man, but you know, I just feel like exploiting black men, Hispanic men, you know, um, Indian men, you know, all of our men, you know what I'm saying? Like, Natalie really got them hemmed up. Natalie really kidnapping to turn them into females. Natalie Nunn is really <laughs> and it's like, yo, man, I honestly don't give a You're not going to take and take my and turn me into a female. If you don't look at baddies and see that the baddies are the bad boys, I don't know if you're sane or not. Mm. If you don't look at the baddies and see that they're the bad boys and everybody's there but Orlando, <laughs> then I don't know if you're sane or not. <laughs> Yeah, Mo City JB, Chef D, uh, the same people that was with me as men are females on the baddies. And you want me to sit here and act like, and at the same time, how come you didn't get invited? And at the same time, they're all my baby mamas. I got with all them. Real life and that burp. Real life with Chef D, Big Lou. I got a baby with, with Prince. Prince is on Mina. Prince got big. I tell Prince all the time that he has big. And the first thing he does is big. Because he has big. Prince be acting like he's. I told Prince when I seen him when I first did the show. We did Bad Boys. I said, Prince, you slang for $25,000 a pop. I know you do. The nigga earring was swinging like he was an old granddaddy. <laughs> I said, God damn. This is bull.
how you gonna put me? That's what I wanna, if I could ask Natalie one thing was, how could you just take me out of jail and put me on a show with all my baby mamas as men? That's some evil. Why would you put me with all the you kidnapped that used to date me and have by me? Now there are men standing right next to you, Orlando, and I hope you fight them. <laughs> so we can send your to jail for domestic violence. But the bitch is a man, how can you? Natalie, I love you, but you fucked yourself on this one, baby. You really did. I, I wish I would've fucked your chin other than your I, I, I wish I would've fucked your chin other than your Chin up. Soldier Boy and Blueface. Hmm. I've been going at two guys that you've had. Raven and Annalisa. <laughs> Raven and Annalisa. At least, at least we know where they've been, you know, this whole time. Yeah, they uh, were supposed to fight. Blueface, so, so one of them called the other out and... Oh Blueface went looking for him, and so did Raven wasn't call there. out Annalisa, or did Annalisa call out Raven? Which I'm one? Not, I'm not sure who it was. Oh, it must have been Raven. You know, Blueface likes to fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, look, things are funny, but what I'm really doing is making the assimilation between these people as male and female. And what you got to realize is, man, I'm just tired of people acting like they're not who they say they are or they are who they say they're not. You know, it's just like, you know, um, there's a lot of songs, but this one song sticks out when um, in, in this gospel song it says, you are who I say you are. You literally are who I say you are. You, you know, you literally are who these people say you are like. I even, you know, I put it for Ubers, like Ubers get, 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 get James when they, when they pick me up because I want them to say, you're not James, you're Orlando. Yeah, there's a little bit of Jesus in you too. You identifying me and I'm making you do it purposely. You know, you know, I know who you are. You know, so it's just it's just different when you when you identify things, you just identify things based off of what you've been through and what people show you, man. And that's it, man. I, 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 this blue face and Soldier Boy thing, man. Soldier Boy is Soldier Boy. That's Annalisa. Blue face is Blue face. That's Raven Simone, man. That's how I see it, and I'm gonna call it how I see it every time, man. Both them got vaginas, and both them have penises. Penises and vaginas. I got a penis. I got a nice penis. It's not for you to know. It's for my wife to know, but I got a nice penis. <laughs> ding, dang, ding, 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 ding. I'm just letting you know, man. I both them cuz both them niggas ain't to me, cuz neither can neither one can rap. I don't like that music. Soldier Boy's a and Blueface is a rapist. Cuz they can't see me. None of them rap can act. None of them got talent. They don't want it with me, bro. That's it. Soldier Boy did say that Disney took advantage of you. Man, <laughs> Shaq took advantage of that, and so did Fifty Cent. The whole world know that. So, ask the. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want you to. Yeah, I don't know if I. I would mean, yeah, man, come on, bro. This homeboys, I've been doing. I'm not with that. <laughs> I'm not with that, bro. So do you think Soldier Boy gets invited to the Diddy parties? Ah, uh, no. No? That's not Diddy's type. <laughs> <laughs> he don't do... <laughs> he... <laughs> what the... F That's little... <laughs> he... God damn. At least say Usher. <laughs> God. Don't say that. That that'll that'll put him in a nest. That's nasty.
Usher was living with Diddy when he was a. I said at least they Usher. Okay. That's cool with me. You can be. That's, that's, that's Usher. Usher's cool. Leave Usher alone. He can do what he want to do. That's Usher. You got to understand that he passed his hazing and he. He got through his hazing and, and he liked it. <laughs> He's all right. So people get through on the other side and be okay. They actually come out greater, come out better, come out a changed mother. With all this stuff coming <laughs> out, <fucking> you up. <laughs> Hollywood and all this stuff, Diddy and, you know, all this crazy stuff that keeps coming out, you know, Hollywood related music business. What do you think it is that makes people like this? Um, no knowledge of who you are. And then when you do have knowledge of who you are and they tell you that that's not who you are anymore because you're the state's property. See, when you give up your skin, you give up your, you give up your vagina, you give up your mother eggs. They're taking our bodies. Body snatching means just that. So when you give up your generation by giving up your or you give up your generation by giving up your uterus. It is something called neglecting yourself of yourself. And when you don't know yourself anymore, you're going to want to die. Period. You know, if I'm in the, in the body of something that I never knew was possible and other people don't even know this is possible and I can't say shit about it. And I'm supposed to kill somebody in this body too. Ooh, yeah, I would be depressed. I would be doing dope. I would be doing all kind of stuff every day because I put myself in a position to allow things to happen to me that I, all I had to do was just stay true to who I was. I was telling my brother about how I, I went to Cat Williams' house, right? And when I went over to Cat Williams' house, after the conversation with Tori, he was like, yo, man, you know, he, you know what Kevin did, you know, and all this old stuff. And, you know, he was telling Tori Hart about what Kevin did to get to where he was at at the time, you know, and I didn't understand what was going on, you know what I'm saying? At the time, uh, Mr. Reno Rankin was alive. Reno Rankin was Tory Hart's manager. And um, it was just an awkward situation, but I did, I do remember, I, I, what I will tell you is some people just don't realize how it is important to maintain yourself. Because of my heart and I stayed loyal to the person that I was with Charlene Hicks at the time. And, and I loved her so much, still love her, but, you know, loved her so much at the time because I was with her that I did not get back in the car with Cat Williams. I didn't get in the car with Cat. He asked me to get in the car with him in his Rolls Royce, to be exact. And I was like, no, nah, it's her birthday. I got to go. Who knows what would have happened to me? Was that even Cat? It's the decisions that we make. It's who we, who we choose to let in, bro. Just because somebody wearing that skin, that don't mean that's them is what I'm saying to you. And they'll lure you in and it's called infiltration, bro. They'll lure you in just to get close to you. They'll wear your mama skin, bro. Your best friend's skin, bro, just to get close to you. As soon as you slip up, they got your. You know what I mean? So that's, that's just something that I don't, I don't, I don't play with, man. I just, I put myself in position to, to want to be great and want to be, want to be, you know, um, want to, want, I strive to want to be better than what I always, what I, what I was, man. That dope head, that this, that, 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 this, that everybody was calling me on the internet. Yo, man, that's, that's just a different person, man. Um, that, that sees, uh, that I was up, man. I was up and now I'm able to look at certain things, man, and, and see that, you know, Certain people made certain decisions, but you don't have to condemn them to hell for it. You just got to just know that, you know, it's a way for people to do their time and serve their time and just get it done. You've said in the past that Hollywood's secrets will never be revealed. No, you, they won't. Do you still stand on that? Um, Yeah, I stand on it. But the only reason why I stand on it is because, you know, like I told you, it's just some things you just don't need to be known about, you know, um, how certain people have. You don't think it's leaking out little by little? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything to do with that stuff. I don't know how to, I don't know what you're talking about. 
Have I even, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm confused. Have people been saying things? Well, you can take the Diddy example. The oh, Diddy. wow. I, I mean, I had nothing to do with that stuff. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Don't look at me. Hey, you gonna let me do Back to the Future? Marty McFly? Absolutely. He said it, Cass. He said it. Y'all know. Back to the Future 4, he's, coming. He's really, no, no, no. He's really Marty McFly. <laughs> He really just told me I can do that thing. <laughs> oh, this is fun. What what's your what do you think you'd play good? <laughs> Marty McFly. Oh, you wanna play Marty McFly? <laughs> I can't be Marty McFly. You can be Marty, but you gotta I it, suck, it gotta be suck. Marty has to do something. I gotta be that mother. Marty gotta pass the torch. I gotta be Marty's son. No. No. Marty had a son. That he that way he's Doc and he still had a son like Doc, and you know Doc still got to be in it too. Yeah, yeah, Doc got to be in it too. You know that. You know Doc got to be in it. That'd be fun. But yeah, hit the son. <laughs> I mean, the son. He had a black son. That'd be funny. You, everybody know Michael J. Fox like black. Everybody know it. Michael J. liked that black. That's how he had me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So Joseph Jackson is Michael J. Fox, ladies and gentlemen. That's my dad. So hopefully he lets me do the movie. I'm just letting y'all know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's like, damn, he's faster. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. you watch enough Tupac interviews, you figure out how to switch some shit up too. <laughs> well, well, what is your prediction? So you predict Keefy D will be found innocent. I believe Keefy D is in Arizona waiting on me to come see my son. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I believe QCD is Danielle. <laughs> I like these Pumas, though. These is nice. These is fresh. I taste leather and... and Sway. When I get the show, I'll be doing most like that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be licking shoes every episode, but I'm sure it's a couple mother out there want me to lick a boot or two. <laughs> Kai Sanat. He's a famous streamer. He streams. Gets thousands and thousands of people watch a stream. He did a stream with Nicki Minaj. Went crazy, went viral. Everybody talked about it. Nicki Minaj left. Him and his homies sniffed her seat after she left. Yeah, well, Kai Sinai is Nicki Minaj. And the that came was Hitler. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can summon anybody, bro. It, so he wait, can. Wait, so wait, Nicki Minaj sniffed. What? I didn't say sn sniffed anything. I said Kai Sinai is Nicki Minaj, and then the the lady in Nicki Minaj's body is. Right, right. So that would mean Nicki Minaj sniffed seat after he left. No, the other way around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, that's how it happens. I have to sniff your seat if I want to be you. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm going to mimic you, if I'm going to be, yeah, I have, to, I have to sniff your seat. I got to smell your, I got to lick your lips. I got to do all that because I'm going to take your body, right? That's, you see what I'm saying? That's like you jumping in my body, right? Right now. And I'm jumping in your body. We, we choose to trade places. Are you okay with licking my lips? <laughs> That's nasty.
empty. That's what these been doing. So that's how it works when you switch bodies? Trade souls. Trade souls. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Have no, you ever seen awesome. this in person? All three of you are tied together. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the bathroom right now. Here being nobody sitting down like he can't go home. It's it's a it's a gift, not a curse. You know, it's a blessing. You know, it's not um it's called the gift of everlasting life. Uh, yeah, okay. I got you, man. Uh before we got here, man, is there any more you tell me about your shows? You know, who you looking for? You know, I think you mentioned before you want a Linnell to play yeah, your mom. Well, I'm a, well I, I, right now, um, you know, I'm very grateful. You know, um, LJ, Lemmy, Natalie, um, they see something in me. And um, I'm just grateful to be able to uh, provide them with, with a script that, that has so many elements of surprise. Uh, and uh, I can't really tell you who's gonna be in the show because I would like for them to do their job. You know, they're great at auditioning people around the world, you know. Um, and this is actually a show that um, is gonna be a sitcom, you know, like, like back in the day, like what we used to, you know? Mm -hmm. So the, the energy behind that has to come from the auditioning. The auditioning process is, is gonna be uh, one of the main situations, you know, that help the public get back to sitting down with their families and watching the Atlanta Brown show. Um, so like I said, with uh, LJ, Natalie, Lemmy, I think we'll be okay. Um, we just have to make sure that we take our time because I know Zeus hasn't did any sitcoms or anything like that yet. This is going to be the first time that they do something like that. And, um, I'm just excited to see what comes out of it because we already have uh, a lot of excitement based off of them bailing me out of jail and the first round and stuff like that. Um, that was cool, you know, but based off of the fact that I was hired, I didn't know that Lou had AIDS. You know, that kind of hurt my heart to, to be bailed out and jump on board and nobody tell me, hey, you know, well, you got to watch out because, you know, I, I don't know if it was a watch out or a heads up that should have been, you know, but it's out of respect for me coming from a whole nother world of acting. I should have been informed. You know, so I think because of that, it it, it got kind of serious over there at Zeus and, and um. I was like, nah, it's not that serious. Because it's not like I was put in harm's way. Um, I just wasn't told. And and that kind of hurt my feelings, you know. Um come on, drinking, all that stuff, bro. You know, even though you can't it can't be transmitted like that. I know I did my research and stuff like that, but it's still like I shouldn't even have to be scared of that kind of shit. I just got out of jail, y'all didn't tell me. You know what I mean? So, I, but I can't, I, you know, I can't blame Zeus. I can't, I can't blame that. I, I gotta just take and be grateful for the opportunity, man. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like they're trying to make the best of it um, by offering me the Orlando Brown show. And, um, like I said, I know they do the best auditions in the world, and uh, hopefully the show comes out awesome. Well, that's what it is, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I know it's going to be big. I know you're going to do your thing. Man, and, uh, you know, uh, whoever does it with you, it's going to be a success, man. So I definitely definitely want to see it. Thank you, bro. Yeah, I sure, appreciate man. it. Daddy. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you too, Dad. Uh, you know, a really dope interview that uh is probably gonna get us both in a lot of trouble, but it's okay. We'll be all right. But we all right. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs>
What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.